Greetings, and welcome back to Before We Leave. I'm Catherine of Sky, and we can take our ship, the Major Tom, wherever we want to. So let's go ahead and sail our wonderful ship out into the unknown, literally the edge of our universe. Look at this. Oh, 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 hello, hello. We have things. We've found some desert. We found some mountainy bits as well. Let's see, let's see, let's look. Okay, that's just an isolated island over there. Is there anything here? This is so wild. Like, literally, we might fall off the edge of the world. <laughs> this was a major concern for people in past centuries. They were like, okay, you know, probably shouldn't sail too close to the edge of the earth. Because you never can tell. It might fall off. Or our ships might fall off. Oh, we got some floating wreckage. Oh, what is this? Oh. Huh, what is this? Sunken ruins, no pollution. Huh. I wonder if we can do anything with that. Is there anything more over here? Like maybe this is a um, hot spot for wreckage or wrecked islands or something? No? see what we got. Wow, there's a ton of stuff over here. Oh, oh, oh. Is this... A, oh! We have ice areas. Look at this. Okay, okay. Is this a big island or is this just a tiny one? Oh, it looks tiny. I wonder if this is by the pole, if it's cold or something. Hmm. Alright, let's see if we can find another island. Where's an island? Okay. Oh, oops, this way. Let's go here. Oh, let's check that one tile for an island. Not there. It's not there. Hmm. Oh, look at this, though. We have something. We have something white. Is this the edge of the world? Hello? This might be the pole, actually. Oh, no. Oh, that is the pole, I bet. This is the air shimmers from the heat. Your ship has discovered a new island. But there's no lush grass to be found here. Uh, it's desert as far as the eye can see. Oh, my gosh. Oh, 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 that looks like an ancient ruin. That looks like it might have a seed on it. Hello. All right. We know where we want to go. All right. Um, it's desert as far as the eye can see. You've heard that ancient humans once buried treasures in places like this. Uh, but you're, but you doubt any remains. You can grow nearly anything here, but only on the fertile green tiles. You notice we have plenty. Oh, what is that? Is that a cat? Hello. It looks like a cat to me. That's a cat. There are different animals on the world, and cats make people happier, and scorpions don't. That is definitely not a scorpion. It's a very funny walking cat. I like this cat. Where is it going? Hello? Where are you off to, little cat? Oh no, you're off into the mists! Oh, don't fall off the edge of the world! Cat is so majestic. Look at this, it's like a sphinx. Like, I live on the edge of the world. I need to take a screenshot of this. Oh, no, I missed it. Oh, crap. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> anyway, let's get back to our exploration. This is quite a big continent, as we see. Uh, let's see. So you can only grow things on fertile green tiles. Peeps that travel too far from the village will get fatigued. It's hot out there. Uh, they'll need appropriate clothing to prevent that. So, so far we have stuff going on here. Oh, this, this island might not be as big as I thought. There's a lot of mountains in the center. Which is really not great. And it's quite small on this side. Huh. So, hmm. It's not very big at all. Like, really small. Uh, because we'll have almost no houses. So we might think about putting our our housing 
on the mountains or the or maybe the desert we have an area over here which might be good for what what is this we have oil okay forest we have an ancient ruin hmm um, this doesn't actually seem like a great place to be. I'm really wondering if we should go and find a different island because there's not much space for living here. Like, can you imagine the amount of, yeah, like forestry that goes on here? There's not much forestry either going on. Huh. Okay. I'm, I'm tempted to go and look elsewhere. Let's go over here. Let's go here. See what we can, what else we can find here. Okay, so that's that message. Thank you very much. Okay, we have other stuff. I'm just gonna click this, like going straight out that way. Oopsies. Click the wrong button. Discovered a new kind of technology. Yeah, I know, I know there's red technology, but it's such a small island. It's tiny. Very tiny. Let's see if we can. I like this. Like you can go into space with the the hexes. Okay. Oh, oh. There's something here. What have we got? Is this another? Looks like a pole. Probably another pole. Oh dear. Yes. This is a voyage of discovery. We're not discovering that much though. Except for lots of poles. Okay. Now, in the free play, the Red Science Island would have a rocket ship. Now, I didn't see any rocket ships over there, but we still have quite a lot of island, or quite a lot of planet to discover. So... What we might do is just kind of do a, a gross thing. And we'll, we'll go and fill in those holes in the deep at some point. But it may not be necessary just to do that right now. I'm looking for a big continent. All right, we're going to try an experiment. Like, go all the way out there. Ship. You show us what you got. We're going to just sort of bisect this hole. No, 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 no. Up here, up here. Not, not over there. Oh, we found something. Ah, oh, it's like a little mining island here. Let's go this way. I'm just kind of there. I used to do this in Civilization all the time. It's like kind of cross over and try to find something big enough that was a continent or big enough to be a continent. Oh, we found something. Hooray. Okay. So we find another lush island. Okay, this is covered with forests of unusual density. Everything grows to an enormous size here. Ooh. Fields on rainforest islands get a large boost to their productivity, but the bonus drops as you demolish forests, potentially even becoming a penalty. Wow, okay, so you're not supposed to destroy many forests. We do have the, um, the red tech here though. What is electronics pile? Ooh, that sounds like more tech. That's a bit scary. So no demolishing of forests. This looks like a better, maybe better candidate for some, some colonization, which also was a fabulous game. Wow, this is very dense forest. You weren't kidding, game. You weren't kidding. So what is this? This is an ancient ruin. Okay, potentially holding seeds for our people's, yeah, delight and, and eating. There was an animal there. No. No. I don't see it anymore. I saw it sort of scampering around. Okay, let's go. Wow, they, this forests are everywhere. I'm actually really wondering about that. Oh, but we have a something. A ruined spaceship. Okay. Let's see. That's kind of cool. I wonder if there's a place where we can see that bonus. 
this rainforest island. Okay, so let's see what we have here. We've got... It looks like it's mostly trees on this island. We have a spaceship there. That's important to get to. Um, we could build a lot of stuff on the mountain. That is definitely a possibility. Look at this waterfall. That's great. I think that's cool. Um, there's a little bit of area here. I think it might be best. Maybe we can make just a small colony out here. We could start out here where there's already some some stuff going on. Let's get our ship. Where's the ship? Hello? There you are. I think we're going to start out here. And we're going to build quite cautiously, I think. Oh, wait. Um, Alright, so we're going to colonize this. Maybe here is a good spot. There. We'll build our road here. Uh, all right. A wet weather system has begun on planet. If it arrives over an island, it can increase crop growth unless it's extremely wet, in which case it will slow growth. Decrease the effectiveness of solar generators. Now we don't have any of those yet. Windy weather has begun. We can change the speed of peeps, ships and airships. Faster if they're going with the wind and slower going into it. Increase the effectiveness of wind generators. Okay. Okay, that seems to be it for now. And our ship has disappeared. So, uh, our people are here. I think what I want to do is get to the cliffs. It looks like... Wow. Wow, a thousand thingies there? I think we want to go to this tile here. So let's just delete these forests. And we need to build a road maybe there to access all these. So let's just access these. And then maybe we can build some kind of food production and a couple of houses. Okay, and then build an elevator there, I think. I really want to put as much road on top of the cliff as possible see and huh, much other stuff not on the cliff as possible as well so I'm just gonna go ahead and put regular fields here uh, around there okay so they probably need oh well, they have tools oh that's great so I'm gonna go back to island one and maybe we can make oh this one needs to be making or hoarding not hoarding <laughs> the word is storing stone there we go uh, okay, so I want to make, over here, I want to make a shipyard and a port. Now, uh, we could ship them food. That is actually an option that we could consider. Um, because it, it might actually be really useful to ship them food. So we don't have to have, uh, stuff over there. We can have the food growing in this island and therefore just, uh, send them extra stuff. So maybe we should do that instead of destroying more uh, of the stuff. Though they said it was fertile over there. So that might be another reason to keep it that way. Let me... I think I'll make here. I would like to make our uh, nautical buildings. So I want to change the course of the road and put it through here instead. Because we can now build, or I think we can build, maybe not. We might not be able to build it actually, not yet. Uh, our tech tree says, let's see, shipping, we, it's red research. So we need to build our next thing super fast. Oh well, fast enough that we can access red research. <laughs> Let's see, these guys have a bonus of, okay, 100% bonus right now. Uh, and that is because of the biome. So we're going to have to be really careful about what we, what we do now. 
here. I don't, I don't know how many rainforest tiles we have to destroy, to be perfectly honest. Um, this is kind of a new feature that I'm, I'm exploring along with you. Let's put these here for now. We need both of these things in order to function. So the explorer's hut, we need explorers to go out and find the red research. And the library, we can't build any tech on this island until we have, well, I can, apparently we can build a couple of things, but you see the school is locked out, the, um, and the warehouse is locked out. So that's important to know. Let's see, there is an ancient ruin there looks good excited to see what's in those but let's see we need to have peeps here where did they go there's dogs here oh, that's nice yeah dogs make them happy as well okay so what's going on with this hey friends <laughs> what's going on are we lacking wood or tools or what Rainforest, no pollution. We have peeps there. Hello, dude. They are standing there. You know what? We can... Actually, no peeps are doing anything. Maybe they need more wood. So let's go ahead and delete this forest right there. Okay, somebody's chopping, chopping, chopping. And I want to make a woodcutter. Maybe that will help them kind of like wake up and like, hey, you know... Okay, there we go. Let's make a woodcutter and so we can have wood automatically made. We're getting a bit short on the tools, but hopefully we can just have this made and call it good. Because it does show that we have nine tools here on the island. Hello, please. Anybody? <laughs> Anybody? They, it says eight are allocated. So I'm hoping. Hello? What's going on? Please? Not enough workers, I know. Oh, they need houses, I bet. Hmm. Okay, I can. I bet they're not wanting to build because of no houses. Oh, geez. Um. I guess let's let's X this for now. Yes, let's demolish that and we'll build one house and hopefully one person will be able to do something, some kind of function here until we actually get on the other side of this island. Let's see. Now people are gathering. Okay, gathering is good. Gathering. Oh, they're building, building, building. Good, good, good. All right, we're going to lock these out. There we go. Okay, so now we got people working. There we go. Okay, so housing needs to be there so that people can actually work on these other buildings. That's good. And it'll be fine. Yeah, this house only holds one person, two people, I guess. That's good. They holds two people. They don't have to live alone. That's good. Okay, so one person is going to be an explorer now, and we definitely want to get shipping because we can't actually transfer any goods until we build a ship. So that is going to be kind of, kind of, kind of important. Let's see. Here's a person. They are walking. Is this our explorer? Hello? Hey Abigail is a world champion whistler and is fetching red technology. Oh, right here. Good, Abigail. Go for it. So she's fetching some at a time. Does it tell us how much she's fetching? Four. She can fetch four at a time. Nice. I think we need 20 for the shipping. So let's see. Um, we can unlock one of these. Not enough workers. Yeah, I know. We don't have enough workers. I'm aware. Thank you. I guess we can probably clear some of this stuff out. Just X these rocks and stuff. We can probably also go on this side and we definitely need to get down to the ship. So I'm thinking we can just take a road here and demolish a couple of these trees there. 
and then have like a, a small housing settlement here maybe yeah there we go and have other people just doing work there we go so library is getting stuff which is good we definitely need to get that shipping going because that's a bit I've been kind of like really afraid of like removing forests like no oh my god um so we have 11 tools allocated is zero so that means i think do we need i don't think we need tools to build houses do we no it takes five seconds to construct one that means we can build an elevator now i don't know actually we'll build it this side let's build our elevator this side oh i have a i need a road okay r for road and then we'll build an elevator. This is kind of exciting. Like, really exciting. Uh, Alright, so road here. It's a road connecting these places. Very good, very good. Okay. Peeps are doing stuff. We're exploring, we're doing things, we're gathering. We need 20 red to make the other things. So let's see, what I wanna do here is, let's get ourselves a house, because apparently that's what you put right next to a spaceship, it's fine. <laughs> uh, we'll put a house here. I don't know if I want another road on the other side or what. Mm, we probably need uh, water as well. We definitely need water. Let's see. Maybe I can make a road through here and just like delete trees on either side of this potential road. Okay. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be great. This is gonna be a long journey if they gotta go up and down two elevators though. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, folks. Okay. We need you to do stuff now. It's time. Okay, do we have enough? We have 20. Good. Shipping. Yay! This is gonna help us immensely. Really, really well. Okay, so Island 1. Let's go back to Island 1. Because our ship gets consumed in this whole process. So now, I would like to put in... I think I need a road there. And let's get our ships going on here. Um... Maybe. Is it here? No, we need a school here. No, I don't I don't really want a school. Hello? <laughs> Let's put the school. I was gonna put it over here somewhere on the top. I wonder if I can put it there. Oh, that's right. It hasn't been researched yet. That's why we couldn't get that. So let's see. Uh wait, that's not what I wanted. One this way. Hmm. It's not quite aligning the way I want it to. Can I turn this and just have it... Can I do a cross here, please? I want it across these two tiles. Let's see if I can... Oh, maybe I can't. That's why it's not aligning properly. Let's see. Bridgie, Bridgie. I wonder if this works if I do that can't go over occupied tiles yeah that's not gonna work either unless I put it over here which kind of defeats the purpose of having a road anyway um, hmm. I could put it just right like right over here that wouldn't be too bad well it wouldn't be too good either let's go here then let's just put it right here we're gonna have this horrible schoolyard where they like, hey, let's play in the gravel lot. It's gonna be fine and fun and yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. Anyway, Explorer's Hut. We have no more green technology available. They have literally dug out all of it. Are there any other ruins here? I don't think so. I'm kind of looking for ruins, caches. I don't see any at the moment, so yeah. Get some more tools going on here. 
So anyway, let's see. Did we get our red tech yet? No, probably not. Hello? Okay, it's still working. Not enough workers. We need to get them sorted. Okay. How's it going, peeps? How's it going? We have plenty of food here. No peeps working there. Some peeps working here. I'm going to go ahead and lock off the research or that the collection of research so that people can do other things. Let's see. We do have two people working, it looks like. No wood available. That seems bad. I could delete more wood. Let's see. Build road here. And then maybe... What I really wanted to do was have the woodcutter's hut there, but I need to have another house made before I can actually do that. Because uh, I don't really want to go too far into this area. But I could just... Let's get rid of this. And kind of plow our way through this jungle. Alright. In order to repair the spaceship, you'll need to invent a way to power it. Have a look at the fuel technology. Cool. Now, did you finish your spaceship thingy? Thingy? Maybe? Cool. Let's have one person here working. Now, this is... Jeez, I, I can't believe how convoluted that was. In, um, in my other games, it's never been quite that horrible. Okay, the world is rotating a little bit weirdly there. Okay, here's Island 1. And let's build our harbor buildings because that's what I really want to do now. Okay, so we can build a shipwright and a port. So let's build our port and I'll build the shipwright right next to it. There we go. And I'm going to delete that thing, that road. These guys are going to build stuff. Thank goodness we can finally make our own ship and transfer stuff that we need like wood and food and other random stuff. Ah, oh, it's going to be better going to be better. So what I'm going to do is delete this building. This we don't need the explorer's hut any longer. And I wonder if okay, we still don't have any way to plant trees. All right. Uh, but otherwise we're doing well. The children can play in this beautiful what, what hello? That was weird. Beautiful stone playgrounds. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> People are going to think that I don't like kids or something. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, so funny. Okay, so how are we doing here? Not enough peeps available for our old posts. I like that it lights up red if there are issues. So I think it's time to build some houses. Uh, all right, so what do we want to do here with this thing? I think that we can... Uh, we're probably not going to have too much going on. We might have a mine right here, maybe. Uh, but otherwise, I think we can just have houses along this road here. Um, we could go like this, maybe. All right. Houses. Like this is good. Nice. And we might potentially build a well here as well, depending on how much uh, food they have and water. Water looks fine. Food looks fine. Okay, looking pretty good. We do want to clear... No, that's fine, actually. Though, we could actually clear this one out. What is this? This is the library. I think we can X this and build... Oh, it's attached with building. Oh, no. Too bad we can't just, like, spin it around and turn it a bit. But I can build another, like, potato farm over here. Uh, these farms, they need water. So that's one thing that you'll see people carrying water to the farms. But I could build another well, like, maybe here-ish. Uh, and, oh, or we could build foresty bits there. But I think we're probably wanting to build a little bit more food production. Let's go ahead and build this. Now, we haven't actually made a warehouse for food, I don't think. We have the warehouse for stone and the iron ore and tool making. But 
ah yes we were going to use this area as a warehouse for food but i think we're going to put this warehouse right over here that seems like a good idea to me so i want to build that here because it's right next to the port and that's kind of the point let's go and oh yes we can now build a ship so we have a couple of different kinds of ships we've got a scout ship fast and light sacrifice to fully explore an island that's cool uh, it only requires five wood and five tools establish a port on a new island that's pretty cool colony ship and then we can have a trade ship so i want to build a trade ship and that's going to get itself going and we need you know various materials for this which our people are going to carry from a little bit far away you can see them you know carting it in wheelbarrows carrying it in their hands depending on what they want to do and the port here is what in a well look at this isn't that a beautiful building it's kind of great isn't it it's just lovely oh wow that looks like I they look like clouds in the sky. Imagine that they probably are. <laughs> nice. Ah, oh, this is great. Um, yeah, anyway, so this one allows you to add ships to uh, make trade routes. And it's really cool. I'm gonna, I want to get to that and show you that in a second here. Because it's, it's a lot of fun. I like that these doors automatically open. They're like, you know, the doors at supermarkets and stuff. <laughs> they just auto open for you <laughs> it's good it's very good okay so what's going on here we have a lack of wood oh geez okay so what we want to do here is we need a woodcutter desperately very desperately uh how is the percentages it's 97 percent, so it's already going down that's not good I think I'm going to just selectively cut down some of these trees, maybe. Okay, just delete those. And we can also get wood from the other island. So let's go back to island one. Um, okay, and let's see. Do we have a ship? Yes, we are have well, almost a ship. We have we have a skeleton of a ship. I do like that it's on like a big wheelie thing. Or no, maybe that's a shield on the side. I don't know. It looks like a very, very, very sharp ramp to go down. <laughs> but it's it'll be fine. No worries. They just need a tiny bit more power, and then they can finish off the last bit of the ship. Okay, we don't have a material strong enough to repair the spaceship. Perhaps we can research something new. I'm getting there. Hold on, thing. I really am trying. We really need this ship. Okay, so here we are. The trade ship Mariana has been constructed. Yay! Okay, so let's load this ship. I'm gonna load it especially with wood. Let's just transfer a whole, literally a boatload. So we need to wait for it to actually be loaded with wood. And that's where uh, we've got to wait for peeps now to go and transfer the wood into, into the ship. Uh, and when it's ready, then we can send it on its way. Now, I'm not, not going to set up the trade route just yet because I want to put in a little bit of, um, you know, stuff ahead of time. So I want to get another trade ship, uh, but probably I want to load this one with wood first. It's got 16 of 30. That's good. Now here, I want to add, let's see, we're going to store potatoes here, I think. Lots and lots of potatoes. How's this going? 17 of 30. It looks like they're now having to chop. I might need to re re reserve some space for wood in one of the warehouses. Either that or maybe make more woodcutters. I'm not quite sure how we want to do that. But either is a viable option. See, this guy gets some... Because it's near the iron smelter, one of the bonuses here is the production is sped up by 10%. And no bonuses for the iron smelter itself, at least with those items. So let's see, these guys. Potato fields doing well. Yep, hot weather, production sped up. One person. Happy workers, production sped up by 6%. So all of this kind of like adds up. So this is 26% uh, speed up on that particular field. So that's pretty good. Uh, how are we doing here? 29 of 30. I think that's enough. So why don't you go to Island 2 over here? Uh, all right, go here, please. Okay, and then I'm going to go back to Island 1. And we're going to 
make another ship. I want to make another trade ship. I want to have a ship that I can control myself and then a ship that is um, uh, trading regularly. That's automatically going back and forth. Okay, they are still lacking wood. They like they have half the wood they needed. I can't believe that chopping down two full forests didn't give us enough stuff. All right, so let's unload all this wood. <sighs> Finally, oh my gosh. And I think, hmm, should I send this research over? Probably not. The, the reality is I probably shouldn't. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to get a trade route going on here. Let's manage shipping. And I'm going to send from Island 1. Yeah, Island 1 to Island 2. Okay, Island 1. Let's send potatoes. I love this whole thing. Units to reserve, 20. And this is all explained in the game somewhere. I think it's going to give us a little info window. Uh, units to reserve is basically leave this many on Island 1. Like, don't take below this amount. Now, Island 2, we want to maintain a target of 20. Um, yeah, or you can do as much as the ship will hold. But I want to have at least 20 on Island 2, so that's fine. Uh, and then also, what else do we want to do? And do we want to do anything from Island 2? I think we want to add resources. We want to add wood as well. Let's reserve 10 here. And then Island 2, we want to maintain a reserve of 30. So there we go. Good. And I think that's it. I think that's all we want to do here. Um, stone tools. I don't think we might want to take tools as well. Units to reserve. Let's reserve 20. Maintain target of 20. Sure. Okay. And we're going to attach a ship. Let's do the Mariana. Okay. Okay. And it's going to go. And it's going to do its thing. Uh, Island 2, I think we don't want to take anything back. I think we're good. So there we go. It's going to do its thing. I, it's already gone. It is gone. Ship has gone. So that's nice. Hopefully we're going to see some more stuff get here. We already have the house being constructed. Let's see, can we put a road? No, roads have to connect to roads. So that's a, that's a little bit of an interesting thing. So, yeah, this is kind of a weird, really weird island, but that's okay. We're, we're getting there. We have some wood. We have some stuff now, and this is kind of good. So I think what I'm going to do is here, I'm going to delete this house because I want the woodcutter to work here. And we might even not need any wood, but initially we'll just uh, top it up with wood uh, from the other island and then we can take that resource off later since I'm sure they're going to have plenty. So woodcutter goes there. We might move these two as well. Let's see. Let's unlock this. Now for this island, we do need a school because otherwise they can't generate any peeps here if we don't have a school. So how can I do that? Can I put a school here? Probably not. I think not. But we can move this house. That is a possibility. Let's see. Let's get a school. Nope, it doesn't want to go there. If we add a road here, we could put it that way. But we could also equally put it up here somewhere. Can I? Can't move through building. Can't move through building. Okay. Ha, huh, that's a little bit not ideal. But we can put a bridge right there. So let's put a bridge there. Like this idea. Our peeps can do stuff there. That's good, good. Oh, this is exciting. We have electronics going on here. That's fun. All right, so these guys are getting a 94% bonus on stuff, which is good. Uh, I think I'm just going to put a regular house here, maybe. Uh, let's put one here. We'll just have many houses there. Like that. And that'll be good. And finally, we'll house all of our people and, and they'll be happier. <laughs> they'll be happier. All right. Um, we can also now build a better houses. Now, that really might help us. 
We can also start off with cooking. We need green and red research for that. Power needs red research. And how let's go with housing. Okay, allows construction of houses which can accommodate more peeps than huts. Inventing houses increases your peeps minimum and maximum happiness, which will increase their movement and work speed if you keep them happy. But make them move more and work more slowly if you don't. Now, usually that means that we probably need to provide them with something like uh, better food sources. So I want to send my person to explore this ancient thingy place. Uh, hopefully they'll get there and have a nice time. I also, on Island 1, I would really like to build another ship. I want to build a colony ship. So we're going to have that start for now. All right. Oh, this is going so well. Ah, oh, this is great. And these peeps are just working away, doing all the stuff. Ah, much the relief of your settlements, the adventuring peeps have found ancient cotton seeds. They look old, but they should grow just fine. Your peeps will be in new clothes in no time. Oh, that's exciting. Oh my gosh. So now, oh my gosh, we can build cotton thingy thingies. All right, so we did, we found that. So there's four more to find. So start building cotton fields. We need more cotton to finish that. All right, so I wonder... If I can take that cotton from here. Oh, oh, what is this? Oh, here it is. It's not beside a road, but it is existing. Let's see, can I build a road there? No, I cannot. I can go around. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go here. Hello? Hello? Uh, why can't I build it there? Can I just X this? What's going on with this? This is not something you can demolish. What is this? Oh, it's technology. Oh gosh, I didn't realize that was there. Jeez, kind of forgot about it. Uh, okay, so let's see. These peeps should be collecting that. Okay, there they went. There they went. So let's get a road and take it this way. And we're going to delete this place. Oh, this is exciting. Oh my god, we got a new thing. We got a new thing. This is great. The greatness is real. The realness is great. And realness, hey. <laughs> realness is good. Okay, we did not build a school yet, I believe. So let's do that because we now have plenty of housing. But we do need to build a school so that the settlers can exist. Again, they, these pe I swear, these people just love those stone gravel yards where their children can play. They really like it. Really. Mm -hmm. Yes. So anyway, they do. Uh, <laughs> anyway. But now we can harvest some cotton. And uh, remember, it told us that we can build these as long as we have cotton seeds. So I'm thinking we'll take some of this back to to the over there, to uh, Island 1, and we can grow some over here. Now to that end, I think I'm going to kind of build a road through this area here, maybe. Maybe have some plantations out here. And that'll be exciting. That'll be really exciting, actually. Let's get rid of this one, these, these, these. Okay, so we can have a road maybe going around this area. One, two. Um, if we do this big hexagon of stuff, then we need to go around here like that. So road going there, there. Then around. People on island two. Getting thirsty, really. Huh. Just place down this road because otherwise I'm gonna completely forget about this project and then just start something else. Okay, there we go. And then we want to have a well in the middle, of course. And then here is where I want to grow the cotton. So let's go to island two again. And it looks like we need to build a well. 
What I can do, maybe I'll just delete this road and build the well here. I think that would be a better idea. Let's build the well here. Well, well, there we are. Yay. Okay, very good. Now, I th did we not have one? Oh my gosh, we didn't have one at all. I thought we had one. Oh dear. Okay, well, it's fine. We we figured it out now. All right. So this is this is pretty darn exciting. Oh my gosh, this is great. So let's see. I want to... Let's build another elevator here. All right. Now that you've invented houses, you can upgrade your huts into houses. That will accommodate more peeps. Just select a hut, then click on the upgrade button. Note that unlike building construction and most upgrades, when you want to upgrade an accommodation building, you need to have all the resources you need immediately available. Your peeps don't like going without their homes for too long. Well, that makes sense. Okay, so we have this place. Wow, this is really far from where anybody lives, but it should be fine. It should be fine. All right, so... I don't really want to upgrade anyone immediately because I'm kind of afraid that they're you know, not going to do well. Let's manage our shipping real quick and we're going to edit these ships. Now what the cool thing about this whole thing is if things are full and they know that they're full, they won't transfer it. They won't even bring it on the ship. What I want to do though is take off the wood thing. Uh, we want to bulldoze. Yeah, bulldoze the order. I want to do that. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> uh, oh, and here it tells you the whole thing, how it works. And let's see. I want to take cotton uh, from island two. Like all of them. Take as much as the ship will hold. Yep. Units to reserve is zero. And I want to drop them off over there. That's good. I like this idea. Okay. And so it will take stuff. This is good. All right. And I think next time we will explore all of the things that cotton can do for us. Hopefully we'll be able to make some of these cotton fields happen and maybe make some industry over here to make some clothing or whatever else our people need. But for now in this lovely nighttime, I don't know why we always end at night, but we can, we can end it during the day. We'll just go to the other side of the world. It's easy. So anyway, oh dear, we'll have to deal with that as well. Not, not right now, not right now, not right now. Okay. In this lovely little colony, which is extremely beset by inconvenience and elevators, <laughs> I will bid you good day. So take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.